Hello you beautiful creatures, how the devil are you? I hope you're well. If you're new here, my name is Lou or Lucifer, as my friends like to call me. By my friends, I mean my Instagram account and my ever-growing army of demons. I am out of the bedroom. Yes, we are actually in ba -ba -la -ba -ba, Shakespeare World. It's not actually called Shakespeare World, it's called the Shakespeare Centre. This is for my mum's 60th birthday. She hates that, I'm sorry mum. <laughs> but I decided to, me and dad kind of got together to surprise her and now we're here in Stratford-upon-Avon. This lighting is awful. So hopefully what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you around Stratford-upon-Avon and I'm going to show you the Shakespeare Centre. So I actually got the three tickets to do Shakespeare's birthplace at Anne Hathaway's house and Shakespeare's house before he passed away. So I'm going to show you what that's like, what you can expect, what you can't expect, like the pricing and stuff like that that but yes I this is kind of wonky so I did a bit of filming before we started this uh, but yeah I hope you have a horrible time in the best possible way and let's get Shakespeare I'm excited so as you know I'm currently in Stratford-upon-Avon with my parents and they brought me into this gorgeous little shop Perks of having an alternative well, kid. Oh. You see the video of. Um, <laughs> hey! Hello. Beautiful, love them. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is the first time I've ever been to Stratford before. This one's for all my Hufflepuff fans out there. We see you. I personally am a Slytherin, but we see you. And now we move on to the most important house. Very good. Like these purses, they're really cute. It's pretty decently priced as well. $9.99 for a purse, that's not too bad. They have got a few. Oh, I love this. I love that. Very good. Yeah, not too bad priced. They've got a sister shop like this in York down the. Uh, is it the Ramblers? I'm not too sure. That. Uh, that funky street, I'm sure I'll remember it. There's literally like Shakespeare stuff everywhere. Also, we just got ice cream because we're hardcore like that, apparently. But yeah, they've got these amazing houses. It's almost like they've just been kind of left in time. That's really cool. A lot of the shops are obviously themed around Shakespeare. Uh, a lot of the shop names have actually got Shakespearean quotes in them which I dig I dig but House of Spells yeah I'd recommend it so what we're going to do today is we're kind of going to have a wander around and then we're going to do the Shakespeare experience that includes the birthplace of Shakespeare um take it back for a little bit so yeah like the birthplace of Shakespeare then the Anne Hathaway house and then his house that he lived in before he passed away so yeah I hope you enjoy that one but this is going to be an interesting one <laughs> Mum and Dad have brought me to this exciting place. I feel like I'm going to spend a lot of money in here. Oh, they've got little events on. That's cool. What have you done to me? <laughs> How exciting. Oh, this is so cute. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god, this is wild. <laughs> so I've decided that I'm coming to Stratford-upon-Avon more often. This is like what TK Maxx wishes it could be. <laughs> Got candles as well. Oh my god, I wish I could smell them all. But alas, I cannot. Incense, incense burners. Yowie wowie. may or may not be in love oh who am i kidding i'm absolutely in love and we've got crystals they've got tarot they've got everything you could want it is beautiful in here if you are here come to magic alley for all your witchy needs it is perfect so this is the Shakespeare bookshop. We're actually going to go to our first location shortly, but we thought we'd check out 
in here because we are firm fans of Shakespeare. Dad more so for Terry with Terry Bratchett. Mum bought a thing. Mum bought a thing for my niece and it's loud and she's gonna regret it, but we move. So we're all looking at Shakespeare books and stuff like that and dad literally found this. Why why you like this? <laughs> what they were teaching children a hundred years ago. Sure, old. sure, respect, respect. Yeah. <laughs> They've got an anime, a manga version of Much Ado About well, there's Nothing. An Avengers, there's an Avengers book as well. Right, okay. To be fair, they have got Richard III and Hamlet and I'm a firm Thank fan. You. Oh, there it is. So they've actually got look an Avengers that. version. A Shakespearean rendition of the Avengers. This is on sale in the Railroad Shakespeare Company gift shop. You should work here. Ah, oh, Julius Caesar as well, Othello. I wonder if they have Macbeth. I might have a look around to see if they've got Macbeth because that's my favourite one. So for the normal people watching this video, we've actually got the other works of Macbeth. So we've got uh, Sonnets and a Lover's um, Complaint. Complaint? Yes. Uh, Merchant of Venice, Hamlet, Tempest, Macbeth, Midsummer Night's Dream, Henry V, Romeo and Juliet. You can actually purchase some of his works. Oh, we are at da, 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 the Shakespeare Centre. So if you want to come and do the experience, you have to come here first. You can't just go into the gift shop like we did. <laughs> but yeah, so we got a ticket to do all three experiences. That includes the three houses. You can just do one if you want. It's completely up to you. It doesn't really matter. It just depends how you feel. To be not. Dad's trying to quote Shakespeare and it's hurting my feelings. It is. It's on this forsaken planet. <laughs> Sooth. Receive me. Me, me, me. Jesus wept. He's quoting uh, Shakespeare Star Wars. <laughs> These are some of the costumes you would have expected in the 1500s. They look so warm. And you can actually try them on. So this is a family friendly uh, attraction. Do it. Do it. Oh. Here we go. That's it. You're doing great, Dad. Oh. You're the birthday girl. You have to. Gold. You look like V for Vendetta, Mum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can be a Shakespeare person. Dad just realised that the uh, inn he stayed in, it was called the Mary Arden. He was like, who's that? It's only Shakespeare's mum, Dad. <sighs> and then you've got the family tree. What a guy. Hamnet, Judith, Susanna. This is B E A beautiful. So much low light. Oh, I believe um, I'm going to butcher his name. I'm just calling him Ian. Uh, he actually created the Shakespearean Star Wars series. So, being a fan of Shakespeare, fell in love with it, um, and. He wanted to incorporate it with his love of Star Wars, so that's how William Shakespeare's Star Wars was born. But this is just perfect, absolutely beautiful. It gives you not just the history of William Shakespeare, but the kind of fashion that they would have worn um, back in those days, the lifestyle, what William Shakespeare would have had to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's see what these are. Not all children received a formal school education in the 1500s. William Shakespeare would have been entitled to a free education at the local grammar school because of his father was an older man. Records for Stratford-upon-Avon's grammar school period have not survived, but Shakespeare almost certainly went there. So I imagine these are the types of books. So we've got a book of Christian prayers. 
uh, History of Scotland, short introduction of grammar. Choose your favourite quotes and slide over a single wooden bead to show your vote. Oh, okay. Uh, experience is by industry achieved and perfected by the swift course of time. We know what we are, but not what we may be. Uh, love all, trust few, do wrong to none, to thine own self be true. Oh, I'm going to have to say we know what we are, but know not what we may be feel like oh no wait sorry that's um that was two gentlemen of verona i feel like oh actually all's well that ends well is actually winning come on hamlet sort it out and this shakespeare's birthplace and the garden so tranquil and quiet some really interesting stuff inside the gallery talking about the influences of Shakespeare and um, like the past history but this will be the inside of the Shakespeare house I can't wait to show you mum's just noticed this pear tree we've been looking for a sign saying you can't eat anything and there isn't one she but she's very close what do you mean? I am very partial to pears. Yeah, it's true. Mum, you can't steal a pear. This is the house. What's going to happen to truth, we are going into Shakespeare's birthplace. I hope we've got CCTV. That's always good. <laughs> First thing you're greeted with is CCTV. That's brilliant. Can we just talk about the fact that William Shakespeare had an extension? Uh, it basically turned into an inn, but this is where the majority of the family lived uh, and the surviving children, because unfortunately Hamnet died and that's where Hamlet came from. Wow. It was um, what it was 100 years after Shakespeare, but it was heavily influenced by Art of Rome. And I'm not feeling it. I mean, it must, be, so, it must be amusing we've got something left of it. Yeah. Because that lady says there's nothing in the house. So the sign has got me creasing. It in. says, I'm old it's and very precious. Please do not touch. To I feel really. that on a spiritual level. We tried this one and we said, it's coffee. It's bread. <laughs> so, that, that, that one's bread. <laughs> What's that one? What do you think it smells like first? Don't eat the I box. I recognise it's small, but it might be small something I don't recognise. Yeah, but say say what you think it is first. Say what you think. It smells something like having a shed, like an oil or something like that. Go on, turn it over. <laughs> Dried and smoked fish. No. <laughs> incorrect. incorrect that's not what it smells like at all. but the thing is like the like seasoning and stuff like that was different back then you well, know they made the bread with all sorts yeah, with, with toenail clippings and, and no i know that ash <laughs> we've also found something quite interesting so a lot of people know shakespeare's works or they know some of the quotes and one of them is alas poor yorick i knew thee well i knew him well no it is, alas poor Yorick, I knew him, Horatio, a fellow of infinite jest, of most ex excellent fancy. So that's the Mandela effect right there. Tis a lie. But it's like, it's like you and Yorick and I'm saying to you, well, alas poor Yorick, I knew him, mm. Horatio. Mm. Correct. That's how you phrase it. We've just finished Shakespeare's birthplace. What did we think, parents? We think the building is very Shakespearean, but its contents are, are, are reproductions, and uh, so you, you get a sense of what it was like. Dad basically wanted to see the toilet that Shakespeare actually used. I wanted used. to see his pen, his notepad, his chair. The thing is, I think they exist somewhere, just not here. They're in like a vault or something, or somewhere safe. I can't eBay. imagine. Oh, Jesus, wait. I can't imagine them being here. Mum liked it though, didn't you? It's I am in awe. There we go. Mum's the Shakespeare buff oh. out of all of it. Oh god. But yeah, it's fun. I would um personally I would recommend getting the three tickets. I wouldn't just get the ticket for this one. 
I would do the full three. We haven't done the other two yet, but I think to have a more fuller experience. I'm, I'm sitting here feeling very, very contented. She's a happy being, and that's what we're here for. Yeah. If the boy upstairs took me now, I wouldn't argue. That was deep, but we appreciate it. That's my mother. There you go. So this is the new place. And this is where Shakespeare came back and he kind of established himself. But we've just learned that um, the grammar school that he attended is actually on the other side of this uh, church, chapel, cathedral, whatever you want to call it. Sorry this is so random and wild. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you bits and pieces just because I don't really want to ruin it for you. Like if you are thinking about doing this, then um, I don't really want to show you everything just because there'd be nothing for you to see then there'd be nothing fresh for you to see but i'm just going to show you the highlights and just the just the fun bits i guess murder shadow lifted shakespeare has the true title to his house wow they're my little demon army i'll have you know i was just speaking to dad and basically saying that um we've got quite a big following now he also does youtube uh he does die cast models so you should check that out he's very passionate about them he loves them to bits i'll pop that in the uh in the description below but it's lovely you've got all the pieces he did on these little flag poles here so uh henry fifth henry fourth part two Henry Fourth, Part One, Merchant of Venice, King John. Much ado about nothing. Oh, I can't stand that play. As you like it. Othello. Twelfth Night. That's beautiful. I love that tree. Behold the Garden of William Shakespeare. That's not what it's called. It's called the Great Garden, but I thought that would. Uh, that would entertain the masses. Oh, as Bilbo Baggins once said, I'm going on an adventure. <laughs> now am I seated as my soul delights. Is that it again? Family's like, this is what my dad's like. So much sass. Also, it says swearing. I apologise. We are a family friendly channel. I am a family friendly channel. My family is not family friendly. <laughs> yes, feral. <laughs> but they do have ramp access as well. Uh, with that, so the birthplace, if you have got a wheelchair, unfortunately, I don't think you'll be able to do it just because um, they didn't have like access, did they? They didn't have lifts or anything, did they? What, so, in like, the 1600s? well, no, no. Oh, you know what I mean. Oh, wow, oh, this is from the Tempest. This is the final, I think it was Prospero. Prof. Prospero. Prospero. This is at the end of the Tempest. Oh, wow. So that's the last thing he wrote before he died. They've got quotes everywhere. <laughs> oh, so this is like a memorial tree. That's really sweet. So I think it's people who really enjoyed this place once they passed. They had little leaves done for them. But each sculpture is uh, accompanied with a section of a play. So we've just had King Lear and we've had The Tempest. Inspired by The Tempest. Oh yeah. Is The Tempest about, contains the elements? Tempest is the one that I did and I was Caliban. So you've got Ariel, who's the sprite. Ariel's the middle one. Caliban's the first one. That's the character I played. Uh, Prospero and Trinculo, who, who was the jester. 
Aerial Cape Bushman Spider Armor. Correct. This is brilliant. So before I was photobombed by a child, uh, I decided to make my own Shakespearean uh, insult. So it's thou art a fat kidneyed, ill breeding scantling, but you have to say it with, with the spit, with the anger, you know? But <laughs> uh, someone really went to town. They just kept going and going and going and going. This one is my favorite one because it is Macbeth. I would have killed to have played Lady Macbeth. Those are all done by an American school. So we now moved into the exhibition section. But we are going to have to pick up the pace just because. Um, yes, time is of the essence. So it's just a small exhibition about the house. Where it was, oh yeah, they've got a memorial to Queen. Well, they've got a little note about the queen bless her can't believe she's gone yeah so this is where the house was and there you go so this is what it would have looked like okie dokie so a bit of a swerve uh we had to drive to this one so the other two you could walk to this one you could not well you could but it'd take about 30 minutes um so we'd recommend probably doing we did shakespeare's birthplace first and then shakespeare's new place and then we're doing anne hathaway's cottage now it is like half three we're not sure what time it closes but we're gonna find out i guess <laughs> it's very nice around here. It's very lovely. Parking's only two quid as well for three hours. That's not bad. And this is Anne Hathaway's cottage. If I could have a house like this, I absolutely would. This is phenomenal. Nice thatch roofing as well. So once you get to the car park, you literally need to walk down the road and keep going until you notice the notice the cottage. Otherwise, you're going to be walking here, there, and everywhere. You know? Mum's on a fruit binge at the moment. She's found all the apples. Yeah. You can't steal the apples, though. That's bad. Did you say that? No. I really wanted to take one of those pears. You're not taking the pears. Let's see what I've got to put all the way. Every family out in. You know what? I didn't make dried fruit. Oh, Lord. This is from Anne Hathaway's garden. So we just did an adorable photo here. I'm going to pop them in here, here, and here. Now we're going to go into the cottage, but most importantly, and as Dad very aptly pointed out, she grew pumpkins. The girl was a witch. We stan Anne Hathaway and her pumpkin patch. Look at them. See, if you guys get your apples and pears, I get a pumpkin. Look at that. On the same problem. I love it. But it looks really nice. I'm here for it. If this is what my house looked like. These are, these are, you know, the, the blood cups and saucers and luster teapot were presented to the mayoress of Stratford in no. 1906. My mum used to have a table like that. Oh, so good lord, it's happening again. <laughs> So it's actually gone back in time periods. So I believe that was 16th century. <laughs> that one was 16th century. And this one's 15th century. So you got to see the progression. What it will look like. And this actually shows you what inside the walls looks like. So the different layers of materials they had to use. So I believe they used like oak, pine, clay stone all sorts but they did it in such a way that it kind of crossed with each other so it built the layers up and supported them but the blackness of it is the smoke from the chimney that came from downstairs and this is the original kind of cottage area and then they expanded it further back so it's like constantly expanding it and making it better it just feels really nostalgic in here and I don't know why. But it gives you a real good insight into 
must have been bloody freezing. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't be surprised. For a fire or anything, <laughs> we would not survive at all with our history of Reynards. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they just collected it. I don't think they actually bothered about hygiene. Uh, yeah. And I'm back again. Hello. Uh, yeah, we just finished Anne Hathaway's house. We're wandering around the sculpture area, <laughs> vineyard, and uh, other sections. So we're in a bit of a conundrum at the moment. So this sculpture right here, yes, it's called Breathing Space. Dad's not fond of it um open to interpretation i guess what 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 do you get from it um i tried explaining it and he was having none of it but uh, also a bit of a conundrum so in one house they said we couldn't take photos and we couldn't take videos in this house it was fine unless there was a flash so i'm just kind of a bit confused about what you can take a photo of and what you can't take a photo of what you can video and what you can't video i think there needs to be a a clear rule between all three of the attractions because they're a part of the same company so it's like the same ticket obviously you can buy individual tickets but this one was a three one not free as in they gave it to us for free free three as in three uh we did three attractions but yeah i'd <laughs> I don't know, like, is it just a case of you can't take photos and videos of the birthplace or what? I, I'm not too sure, but I guess I'm going to show you some apples now. Uh, this is the, the vineyard, the orchard. I don't know why I called it a vineyard. I do apologise. My terminology is awful. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it so far. I hope you enjoyed, like, what you can do and what you can see it's felt very nostalgic and i'm not sure why but uh, yeah it's just been a nice chill day looking at all the places that shakespeare would have kind of frequented in stratford upon avon whilst he was alive but, so we found another sculpture and dad's trying to deconstruct it and you're not pleased are you well, no, thank you <laughs> okay. Sure. literally finished at Anne Hathaway's house, uh, had a wander around the orchard, uh, looked at all the sculptures. Some of them were wild. They were really, really intense. Going around there with your parents is almost like watching an episode of Game of Thrones with your family, particularly during those scenes. And you're like, hmm. <laughs> but all in all, honestly, it was an absolutely amazing day going around the town, seeing all the different influences that William Shakespeare's had on like the different shops and different attractions, uh, going to the attractions. That was really, really great. Yeah, the, like I said, the one thing that I couldn't really understand was during the Shakespeare's birthplace section. So the first place we visited, um, one of the one of the tour guides well it wasn't really a tour guide he he stayed in the room and he spoke to us about uh different sections of it um he said that we couldn't film for security purposes now i've checked on youtube beforehand just because uh, i want to respect the rules 
I want to make sure that you know they're all abided by and there's a lot of videos from Shakespeare's birthplace so I don't know and then I was allowed to film at Anne Hathaway's house forward slash cottage and at um Shakespeare's first place so I don't know I honestly don't know uh, I don't know what to tell you on that I think it just depends on the person who's in the room if they're a tour guide or not uh telling you I don't know I I really don't know if you have had that issue before let me know in the comments just because I think it needs to be a bit more clearer like it needs to be clear a clear rule for all of the attractions or none of them because I don't know but yeah all in all it was a really fun day I would fully recommend doing the three attractions rather than one just because I feel like it fills the day out nicely uh, but I would say that you need some form of transportation to get to the Anne Hathaway house because it took us about uh, it took us about 10 minutes to drive there but it would have taken half an hour to walk there so yeah i'm losing my voice now which is always exciting but yes i really really hope you enjoyed it we're potentially thinking of going back again with this one ah <laughs> gareth's back yes uh he wasn't with me today unfortunately i it's, was asleep it was his sleep day he's at work now which is exciting i know you guys have been asking about that they've been asking about it Aww. um yeah so he's at work now and he does night obviously so he needs a rest day but yeah i literally started traveling from seven o'clock no eight o'clock this morning lies and slander eight o'clock this morning uh and i didn't stop i had to take two buses two trains it was it was intense but it was all worth and two it cars, technically. and two cars technically yes because you drove me back which was really nice i really appreciated it but before i go i'll show you what i bought uh all three attractions do have mini gift shops they all sell pretty much the same thing some of them certain ones spell um certain ones spell certain ones sell specialized items so in the um first place attraction there was a book that i really wanted called the multiple deaths of Will William Shakespeare so talking about the different deaths he wrote about which would have been cool to have but anyway so I got this little Hamlet uh he's going to be for the Christmas tree and eventually for my car and then I got a tiny version of my favorite Macbeth yes you can actually get three of these for 20 pounds um unfortunately they didn't have the Tempest if they did I would have got the Tempest Macbeth and uh Hamlet but they didn't have it so it is what it is but yes next time we'll see what we get we'll see what happens but i hope you've enjoyed this video uh please subscribe if you did please comment and please like it let me know what you thought let me know if you've been before what was your favorite bit what would you like to do if you want to go uh let me know if this video has helped you decide if you're going to go because i always like that uh but yeah i hope you've had a good day if not that's okay always remember Tomorrow's a new day. See you later, guys. Bye.